Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video for the GS460. So today we're going to be changing out these spark plugs finally. If you guys haven't watched my previous video, after this go ahead and watch them. Kind of been doing a series with them, but I explained that um, now that I've been doing all the maintenance on it, I'm still getting bad miles per gallon. So uh, the first thing I wanted to check was the spark plugs. And good thing I did because... Here is what a brand new spark plug is supposed to look like, okay? And here is what my spark plugs look like. Gross, right? Oh, that's nasty. So you see that tip right there? It's just, it's coated, it's disgusting. So we're gonna be changing out all eight of our spark plugs I have with me. Denso spark plugs. I highly recommend these spark plugs if you guys also have a GS460, the few of us that do. So as you can tell, I already took out some spark plugs. Uh, I wanted to see how difficult this job would be for the video. So I'll be showing you guys what tools you'll be needing and then also the procedures on how to change out these spark plugs. So um, what I have with me is a 3 8 ratchet, a 10 inch and a 6 inch extension. 10 millimeter wrench, a small little flathead, and you'll be needing this 5 8 socket for your spark plug. So it has a little like magnet in there so that way when you put this all the way in the spark plug housing, you can remove it and it'll take out that spark plug for you. Um, you will absolutely need this if you're changing out the spark plugs. Um, this is the uh, Duralast 52-133. Um, if you guys Wanted to know exactly what it is. <clears throat> um, the spark plugs I just grabbed from AutoZone, so you don't need to know a part number or anything like that. Just go to AutoZone or, or your local auto spot and uh, just tell them your make and model, your cars, spark plugs you need. Tell them you want the Denso ones. Um, I also am using a little uh, multi tool. You guys don't need to use it, but it's easier for me to use it. I use it all the time. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so I have already removed the engine bay covers and the battery you're going to need to remove the battery because there's a spark plug way in the back that you'll need to access and you need to remove the battery to do so other than that um, i've already started working on the right side um, as far as the spark plugs go so i'll show you guys what i've done so far um, and it's gonna just mirror the same thing on the other side in order to access these spark plugs on the right side, you're going to need to um, unbolt the ABS and VSC. So I went ahead and did that. Just remove that, put that on the side if you can. And then also I uh, took the screws off of this mount here just so I can have access to those spark plugs in the back. And then also unscrew this one here. There's another one on the other side that's connected here. So this went like this underneath. So I took that off so that we have more access to get to that spark plug there. So the biggest thing here is this like frame here gets in the way so much and um, it's made life difficult. But as long as you have those extensions that I mentioned, you'll be able to access these uh, with, with little problem. And then the spark plug you guys just saw, I actually just removed from that back one right there. So that one is actually fairly easy to take out, but I had to take this fuse box out. I had to like just dump it down there. So this is connected on there like that. So I, there's a little clip on this side right here. Took this out and I just kind of stuffed that in there so I could have access to that one. Um, so now that I'm done with that, I can put this one back in there.
here is a before and after comparison of how it's supposed to look and how it looks now disgusting and as you saw you know when i pulled it out it was just coated with oil it was disgusting so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that it is nice and tight and we put that back in there clean everything out um as you can see here just gunky so we're gonna get that nice and cleaned up and get that ready to get put back in So that's pretty much it um, as far as changing the spark plugs out. So I have already changed out one, two, three, four spark plugs. We've got four more to go and she'll be done. So we're going to use the same procedure as I just showed you guys for the rest. And then uh, we can put the battery back in. See if there's a, a big difference as far as uh, the miles per gallon goes. Uh, but as you guys saw, like these spark plugs, they needed to be changed out anyway. So... Uh, I'm glad I'm, I'm able to do this right when I get the car compared to, you know, later down the line um, when the car, you know, breaks down. So let's go over how to remove this fuse box. You have one here that needs to be removed um, and that kind of connects there. This one, uh, the bolt needs to come off. And then underneath here, after you remove the battery like plate that's on the bottom here, you got to remove these screws right here, here, and here, and then remove the safety clip here for this connection, and this will come up. Once that is up, you remove the bolt here, and there's a bolt underneath here that's connected to this fuse box. So you remove that bolt there, take this off. And you'll be able to access that without doing any damage to um, the interior. So that's how you remove it. A few moments later. Ooh, that one was a pain. Check that out. That looks gross. All right, guys, we are finished with the spark plugs. Um, wasn't too hard except for that last one that we were doing. Um, that's going to be the second one um, on the right side. That one is very, very tough to do. Uh, but other than that, as long as you're taking off all the accessory stuff on the sides, the battery, battery mount, um, ABS, a module. So just, if you're just moving that stuff over by just bolting it off, um, it definitely helps out getting to those spark plugs. So she's all done. Put the battery back in there, plugged her in. Final touch. Throw this back on there, and let's start it up. No! God, please, no! 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 Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Turn on the car, she starts. For one and two there's no lights whatsoever um, so mission success and i'll show you guys the difference these are the bad ones i threw two of them away so you're supposed to have eight obviously v8 but um they look horrible check that out guys i honestly don't think this was ever done to the vehicle i don't think they were the spark plugs were ever changed so thank God I did it right now, and uh, she's running beautiful. So we're gonna go take it for a ride and see how see how it is. Let's turn on sport mode. Traction control off. Here we go.
That was fun. Whoo! If only I got a outside shot of that, that would have been cool. Well, she definitely feels healthier. Um, she does have a little more kick to her. And that's what I was expecting uh, because of the spark plugs, but um, that that's the last thing on the list as far as maintenance goes. Um, and I'll keep track of my miles per gallon so that way I can update you guys on the next video to see how they're doing. Um, but other than that, man, suspension's next. Um, got a few other things I want to do as well as far as like, you know, painting calipers, doing a chrome delete, all that stuff you guys will see as well. So we'll end it here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.